we keep losing and losing and losing. Donald Trump has put himself before everybody else. Republican leaders and potential 2024 hopefuls signaling they're ready to take on former President Donald Trump. This loyalty, this work that we must do together is not to a person. Swinging at Trump during the Republican Jewish Coalition annual leadership event. I got a great policy for the Republican Party. Let's stop supporting crazy unelectable candidates in our primaries and start getting behind winners that can close the deal in November. Blaming him for the party's lackluster midterm results. You know, Trump was saying that we'd be winning so much we'd get tired of winning. Well, I'm sick and tired of our party losing. And a week after Trump launched his third presidential bid, hinting they may challenge him in 2024. I've never lost an election, and I'm not going to start now. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, fresh off a decisive re-election victory, never mentioned Trump. Instead, he touted his leadership in Florida as a model for the party going forward. We in Florida are the light. Freedom will reign supreme with Florida leading the way. The event came on the heels of several high-profile donors and one-time allies of the former president voicing reservations about another Trump White House run. Some Republican lawmakers also suggesting it was time to move on. I mean, I think Trump's kind of a drag on our ticket. I honestly believe we're going to have better choices. We need as a party to move past President Trump. Trump advisors are welcoming a crowded 2024 field, hoping for a 2016 repeat when a heavy slate of Republican candidates split the GOP electorate, creating a pathway for Trump to win the nomination. Breaking the radical Democrats' grip on Congress this month was vital. It was a great thing. But we've always known that 2022 was not the end, only the beginning of the battle to save our country. We have to take back the White House in 2024.